Netflix. Not that they've announced um uh, the one the live action one piece, but let's just see what they got going on about it. I'm on the fence about live action anime. A lot of their their anime does not translate well over into live action. It doesn't. Unless it's really, really grounded. Most of the time it doesn't. A lot of it has to do with because of the way characters are designed, the way characters move and act. It does not translate well. When they did the live action version, well, a live action version of Death Note, you know, one, the casting was pretty bad. I mean, though the guy that's actually played L, I can't remember his name, I actually like him as an actor, terribly miscast, but even L's movements in the show, a normal person does, will not do. So even when you see him do it in the movie, it doesn't look well. Uh, some of the fights, some of the action, some of the humor, just it's hard to pull it off. There have been some decent ones. Uh, I've actually, I actually like the Bleach one, Bleach. I actually like the Full Metal, uh, Metal Alchemist trilogy. I actually like that one. Could have been some things that did a bit better, but I thought as an adaptation, it worked out really well. Uh, the, the, the Attack on Titan was terrible. Uh, the Dragon Ball one, terrible. Uh, just, the anime just, it's just hard to adapt it. I could kind of see, I'm interested to see if they could pull a Naruto, but because it is somewhat grounded, but I, I'm, I'm not sure how that will work out. But anyway, just going back to One Piece. Now, One Piece is, at this time, and has held this title for some time now, the highest selling manga of all time. And with all of, you know, Dragon Ball, Naruto being, you know, some of the big big players out there, uh, One Piece tops them all. They've sold the most, well, it's generating over $21 billion in revenue. The guy that made One Piece is on point. He's got multiple mangas, films, video games, and all other types of merchandise, so that's pretty cool. Now, in 2020, Netflix decided that they were going to announce a live action series of One Piece. Uh, and what does it say? Uh, I'm not uh, Ochiro Ido, the man that created One Piece. He end up what this says right here says, I know I announced the production of this back in 2017, but these things take time. Preparations have been slowly progressing behind the scenes, and it seems that I can finally make the big announcement. Netflix, the world's leading streaming entertainment service, will be lending us their tremendous production support. This is so encouraging. How far will the story progress? Over the 10 episodes of season one who will be cast, please be patient a little longer and stay tuned. Now, that was uh, from uh, Ichiro, Ichiro, Ichiro Ido, the man that created One Piece. And uh, a few days ago, they actually showed a poster and really can't show it right here, but it's basically what you will see on the anime. You have Luffy looking at the sun I don't know if it's rising or setting, which I think is rising, with his uh, with his camera to the the back, his back to the camera, and his fist in the air. So it does look pretty good. At least that shot does. And then the second one, uh, which is actually the one that's more impressive, you get a shot of the uh, straw hat pirates facing the uh, their ship with their backs to the camera. Um, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's not, you know, groundbreaking or anything, but it, it looks like a good shot. It, it actually does. Oh, so, um, oh, don't, uh, you know what? I forgot uh, the disaster that was Cowboy Bebop. I can't believe that. The live action series could have been better. Uh, but a lot of that had to do with woke ideology, too. But anyway, so... I'm actually interested. I did like, I do like the shots. I mean, just one, one look at everything. I hate when they do the, the first look. It's always just one picture. It don't be like a set of like 20 to give us a better image of what we can expect. But, you know, it looks all right. I'm at, I, if they can actually do it. And I think with the right people that live, a, a live action one piece can work. Like, I think it can work. But hopefully we'll see how this is going to go. Like I said, I like One Piece. One Piece is definitely one of my top 
top 15 uh, anime of all time. I think it's really awesome. Great characters, great fights, and I hope that they can translate this. I'm also I'm interested about this too. If we're gonna if they're gonna do a One Piece, what time periods is gonna pick up in? Because if they're going, like I said, it's 10 episodes, and One Piece is literally like a thousand chapters at this point. Now, I'm not even sure how many episodes, but or 900 chapters or 900 episodes, just something like that. They they've got some really really high numbers, and I'm like, okay, I get that they're not gonna jump you know all the way to the end or anything like that but how far are they gonna go because we are, we see all five of the main the, of the core crew and in 10 episodes that's uh, like how far are they gonna go are they gonna go to the crocodile arc are they gonna go to the alabaster arc are they gonna go you know when they reach the grand line like what where's the end game at basically how far i will i would like for them to i haven't come across maybe they have said something about how far they're going to go in terms of the story uh but i'm not sure um who is behind netflix's one uh, piece series steven Maida is going to be the showrunner for one piece it, his long course had him involved with titles like the X-Files, Lost, Lie to Me, He Lives, and Daybreak. I've seen some of the original X-Files, but I have not seen any of the other stuff. Uh, the writing staff will include Diego Gutierrez, Matt Owens, Allison Wintraub, In Stokes, Lindsay Gel- Gelfand, Laura Jaquin, Jason Cho, Damani Johnson and Tom Winman. Yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. Well, I'm not interested, like I said. That's my thing. How are they going to tell the story? I, I got pictures of the ship. The ship actually looks pretty nice. I just want to know how they're going to are they going to start from the absolute beginning? With you know, with Luffy as a kid, all the way to everybody's uh, finally together, uh, or, or you know what I'm saying, or like what arc? That's what's got me interested. Or is they going to do an adaptation of that? Because me personally, I don't really want to see a play-by-play of the anime. I have a problem with anime-based games because anime-based games do that. So are, are, are they going to introduce some, some more elements to it? Are they going to take certain things out? I'm interested in what they're going to go with. Um, and, you know, Netflix ain't the most reliable in terms of quality. A lot They do make some decent adaptations. I will give them that. But a lot of their stuff just be garbage because they put so much woke dogma and propaganda into it. So, and, so this is opportunity. They could possibly turn around the quote-unquote anime curse i mean they had a video a video game curse and they fixed that pretty much so that the manga the, the manga to live action hopefully they can get something going with that now for our 